introduced to the friendship scheme. Probably about how long have you two been here? About five months, three, three months? months. Yeah. Um, and it's been really fast paced and it's completely new for us. So this, we just thought it would be a great opportunity for us to tell you a little bit about it because a health science practitioner apprenticeship is a little bit of a mouthful as well as quite, quite confusing on to know what to do. So I'll introduce you to Jedi who's been here for about three months. He was on a different apprenticeship scheme, decided to come across from the NHS. And Grace, who I think you came directly from school to us. Yeah, because I yeah. yeah. Great. This is actually Mister, who heads up the clinical operations, so he has both of these reporting into him. And he's going to tell you a little bit about this scheme, and then the other two are going to tell us a bit about what it takes and, in reality, what it's really like. Great. So the apprenticeship uh, provides the apprentices with a fantastic opportunity to have an insight into clinical research, which is an area we work in. Um, it covers the day-to-day -day activities in terms of carrying out procedures on volunteers, which includes taking bloods, blood pressure, ECG and vitals, and they've been a breath of fresh air since they started and really rejuvenated the team. Um, how would you describe the day to be? Uh, so during the day I would come in early and then um, I would go onto the system to see what my schedule looks like for the day and then I'll see if, I'm, if I have any other time to come down to screening and help out the screening area to fill in the spaces and the gaps. But usually you're quite busy during the day, so most of the time you have quite a lot um, of time to um, do other things with like, the round and the wards and everything like that. But uh, then you can find like, you know, like do more screening and more scheduling appointments and more wards and things like that. We screen a lot of uh, patients before a study starts to see if they're eligible. Uh, so we see you know, all the usual things that we would do. It's blood pressure, uh, vitals, uh, taking bloods, urine samples, asking questions as well as the beginning of it, like to see the first stage of the eligibility criteria. And then um, after that, the doctor will come in, have a bit of a review, we'll take some ECGs as well, and then maybe a whole time, 24 hours. And then from there, then we just, So Grace, what does it take to be a part of this apprenticeship? Well, you need to have a real passion for the biological sciences and you also just need to be a really dedicated worker. Yeah? Yeah. And Jedi, what does that mean qualification-wise? So you need to at least have um, a pass in your maths, English and sciences, so a C and above. And IT and uh, any other extra uh, GCSE would be handy, but they're the main ones. Brilliant. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today and Mr. as well. In the next couple of months, we're hoping to actually have an apprenticeship open evening where as many of you can come in and speak directly to these two, Mr. and many other people because we really have felt that this apprenticeship has been a great success. So thank you both so much for one, your time, walking away from screening, and two, for giving us the opportunity to voice just how well you've been doing. So thank you. Well done.